Uh, my name is Subhu Ramasamy and I'm a global product manager at Philips Lighting. And today we are here at uh, Light Fair at New York. And I'm going to be talking about Philips Active Sight, the product that we are launching in Light Fair this year. And let's get into the product. So uh, in architectural lighting landscape, what's more important to the customer, a building owner or lighting designer, is brand image. They want to know that uh, installation is totally working fine. What they really want is peace of mind, and they don't want to have any surprises. Because all these architectural lighting installations are going in prominent installs which are very visible. So that's you know, brand image is something that they totally care about. And the other thing that they want to do is uh, also uh, uphold the brand image. In addition to the brand image, they also want to make sure that they're able to refresh content periodically. It's not like day in, we come and program a content, then we walk away. They want to be able to change content. And then you go talk to the service providers, and for service personnel, what they want to be able to do is make sure that they're able to monitor the whole installation. And they want to be able to do it easily. Today, there's not an easy way for them to do it. They got to go on site and make sure everything is working. There's not an easy way to uh, have an asset management system, if you will. So that's where Philips heard all these uh, concerns from customers, and we came up with Active Site. So what Active Site is is a system that allows us to remotely monitor, maintain, and manage Philips color kinetics, color kinetics installations worldwide. And uh, so Active Site is a cloud-hosted software as a service, software as a service solution. What that means is now customers can access their installations from wherever they are, on the go, in their office, in the home, on the beach, from the plane, because it's all you need is computer and internet, you get out of the browser and you can manage all your installations. So what also ActiveSight does is allows you to now control all your installations for one dashboard. So what I'm going to do next is just show you a demo of the software so you know what I'm talking about. So you log in and you get into ActiveSight. So if you're a partner and you, know, you get in and you see all your installations right in the dashboard like I was telling you, so you see here, you know, we have sites from all over the world, Boston, London, Sydney, it's all in one dashboard. And you come in here, you see all the email alerts from, you know, alerts from that installation. So if a fixture is not working, if a power supply has gone bad, if a controller stopped working, all of this is now recorded in the software. And if something goes bad, immediately you get an email alert, right? So you don't even have to come into the software uh, if you don't get an email alert. If you get an email alert and you want to do a little more analysis, then you jump into the software and look at what's going on. There's a lot of statistics that go on here. You know the number of connected light points that we have and the number of sites that you've monitored over time and its status over time. If you want to do a little detailed analysis, you get into the sites and then now you see all your sites listed here. You know what's connected, what's operating, what's not operating, the number of calls and the number of fixtures and all that kind of information. So out of all these sites, let's just go look into one of the installations, right? So this Segwick Bridge main. I go in, I want to do some analysis here because I saw that there were some faults here. And I come in and uh, I see that, you know, this is all the alerts I have, uh, some of the alerts here. I see that it's been operating totally fine, except that it had a couple of alerts. So now if I want to see what those alerts are, I can go in here and it's, you know, set up in such a way that you can see the controllers, you can see our power supplies, you can see our fixtures and you can go and exactly see what's gone bad. So I go in here and this power supply has gone bad, it exactly tells me when it went bad. I can see all its properties and I can see over the graph how it's been performing. So if you want to get some kind of an historic analysis, then you can come in here and see that this power supply was working fine to the 3rd of May and then it stopped working. Before this, right, if you even went on site to do monitoring, you just go look at it and you have no historic analysis. Now you get all of this with the charts and data analytics that we do. And you can do the same thing with fixtures as well. So you can go into a fixture, click you know, to it and see what's going bad with that. And now you're able to do it for all the connected lights point all over the world. It's not just one fixture, it's everything that you have connected. Right? And then you can go and look at the alerts. In this case, you know, this has Let's look at one of the alerts. It says, you know, three fixtures fail with the serial number, IP addresses, and all of this information. And where this helps you is, you know, you're able to solve a lot of these, you know, address a lot of these problems remotely. So you don't even have to go to site to replace a fixture. You know exactly which fixture has failed. You can pre-program it, send it to the site, and the installer now plugs it back, and it just all works fine. So that's the kind of information that you get. And let's look at reports. So we also collect a lot of data and then present to the user in a form that's more meaningful to them. Here are a couple of reports that, that we generated. So I come in here, click a report, and this is a summary report that we generated where it's 
telling a facility manager what they have in an installation, how much work and how much didn't work. And you see here, it's almost that they don't have any failures until the last week, so it's great. Or if you wanted to go back and um, do other kinds of reports as well, that's also available. So if you want to do asset management, that's something that facility managers totally care about. So we go in here and we can do asset management where uh, asset management report is created. And now it lists all the devices that you have, the day that were installed, the MAC address, IP address, everything that you know need to know about an installation and, and the assets in the building. So these are the few reports we have. We have a lot more uh, reports, but here are just a couple of examples. So like I was telling you, what we looked into it right now was all the monitoring and the maintenance part. The other big piece to uh, architectural lighting installation is content management. Right? Uh, and then, uh, so if you want to do content management on an installation, let's just say, I want to do constant uh, content management on Alpha Stadium. I come in here, I come into content management page, I just go in and I click my controller and what it brings up is a web interface. Now that allows me to deploy content remotely from the cloud. And it's very powerful to think of it. So say if it's a World Autism Day and the customer wants to have the building in blue, right? And they haven't planned for it, they just give you a call the day before and, and want you to turn the building blue. And if you didn't have a remote content management system, you'd have to send an engineer on site, have them program it. Imagine the cost that you incur to do something like this. Whereas now, if you wanted to create a blue instance, you just go in here and you'd say, Autism Day, right? And then I create, so you can put, a, put an um, image of your installation. I just make it blue. I hit save and I go back and I just play Artisan Day and the content gets deployed. That's how simple it is that um, you're able to deploy content. Not only can you create scenes, you can also deploy shows and it's as simple as just creating a show and then hitting the button and it gets deployed real time. There are a lot of custom interfaces that you can create as well. So if you wanted to create custom web interfaces with the background of your installation, you can do that as well. So you see here, if you wanted to pick a certain color for your installation, you could just use this um, scholar here. You can pick a color or from the color wheel and it's okay and it gets deployed real time. Now the cool thing is that you're able to do this for all your installations. So you could be sitting, I was like I was showing a colleague the other day, you could be sitting in the airplane, all you need is a Wi-Fi and internet, uh, I mean Wi-Fi and the computer, and then you go in here and then you can change content on any, any installation that you want. So that's pretty much what Active Site And if you look at the benefits of Active Site now, what it really gets to the customers is enhance their brand image. So what we're telling them is relax and have peace of mind because Active Site is monitoring your installation around the clock. And where we change the game with Active Site is that we're not offering reactive support anymore, it's proactive support. So what we tell the customer is we know your installation has faults before you know it has faults and we'll be able to help you service it quickly and remotely in some instances. And if you want to know more about Active Site, please log on to www.colorkinetics.com and thank you.